A very good evening to you and thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. I hope you've had a lovely week and a lovely day. And at least we can deny Shavizuri. It's almost the end of the month and Imwaka Imekimbia. So we just want to take some, you know, time to reflect and think about this last few months. What are we going to do to improve ourselves and improve every single thing that we set out to do? Because Tulkwana goals, we had some things that we set out at the beginning of the year. But perhaps we don't even know how to get there, how we don't even know how to maybe better manage our time, better manage our, maybe the, the resources that we have and everything else. So today we're focusing on finances. We want to talk about financial management because maybe you've accomplished all these other things, but your money is not adding up. Everything that you're doing is not telling up. Maybe you're not seeing yourself getting to where you wanted to be in the next three months or by the end of the year. So we want to figure out how, could, how can we better manage our finances in a way that we can see the fruits of the things that we've been working towards and we can even multiply the finances that we have and the resources that we have at our disposal it's coming in a time when we are having a conversation on the lack of jobs the lack of opportunities and we want to figure out what can we do with what we have at hand um, I want to talk to some experts I'm here with some lovely gentlemen who are very well versed in this conversation I have Ibrahim Musungu Karibu. He's the head of sales and marketing at Omni People Distributions Africa. Thank Karibu you. Ibrahim, how Asante. are you feeling? I, I feel great. Um, it's, it's, an, it's an experience that I've ever wanted to be here. Yeah. And considering the topic of today, uh, we should diversify and we should expand on it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. It's so amazing to have you. Asante Sana Ibrahim. Asante. And right next to Ibrahim, we have CPA Paul Gituku, who is the managing director at Seals Associates. Karibu Sana Paul, how are you feeling? I'm feeling nice. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. And uh, I'm hoping this will be a very, uh, it's an interesting topic. Mm. So I'm hoping it will go very well and yeah. uh, people will be able to learn something from it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Thank you so much for both of the gentlemen who are here with me. And thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254. I hope this is a conversation that's of interest to you. And in case you want to share any opinion, share any feedback, go on our social platforms at Y254. We've asked you a question. We want to know about the value of investments, the value of managing your finances. So what do you consider before investing? What do you consider before choosing a platform or uh, maybe an, a place that you can put in your money to help it grow and uh, to invest in your resources and everything else. So I want us to talk about this conversation and we will sample the comments that you share with us on our socials later on as we progress with the show. So don't forget to go on our platforms. And uh, to kickstart the conversation, I think finances are a very tricky situation it's a very tricky topic it's very diverse but i want us to talk about financial management we have management and then we have investment so what is management paul what would you say financial management is so i, I according to me i would say financial management is about managing or organizing or planning your finances to a point of getting financial stability Mm. Yeah. So financial stability is the end goal. Yeah, financial stability is the end goal. Mm. Such that you don't have to wake up and do something for you to earn something. Like money can earn money for you. Okay. You can just relax and money can come in. So that's the end goal. You mm. don't have to keep running morning, evening for you to earn money. Mm. Yeah. So it has to it has to be you putting it in the right places. Sure, sure. So that it get something sure. but that kind of sounds like investment is it yeah it's not? kind of investment I, mm. I believe for you to have a proper you can't leave investment while you are talking about financial management mm. because for you financial management as i said is planning and for you to plan you have to look at investment options you start by saving small small then going forward you look you have saved certain amount of money where best can i invest this to ensure that tomorrow i can be able to earn income from the investment I made. So mm -hmm. that's, that, uh, that is what I would call proper financial management. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And based on what you're saying, financial stability is the end goal. It's not like I'm just putting away this money so that I, you know, I say that I have something or whatever. So, Ibrahim, what would you define as stability? What is financial stability? Because I know it varies with different people. But where do you get to 
uko na pesa flani uko na investments flani alafu na semenye sasa hivi ko financially stable what what point is that okay um on a normal day uh, no one will ever be stable with finances but uh, there is that point when you feel all your bills are sorted uh, all your expenses they can be taken care of um, the debts that you can uh, offload you can be able to take care of them that's when you feel you have stability and also when you look at both the short term and the long term you can be able to gauge where you will be um, that means um, when you go to the long term the finances that you have right now they can be able to take to take you through that long term phase in everything that you are planning whether it's taking your kids to school whether it's uh, maybe investing in a business and uh, uh, closing some deals but it should be and it should enable you to take care of both your short term and long term mm. yes okay cuz it's very clear by the way mm. there's never a level where you can say there's complete financial sure. stability sure. because even <coughs> the billionaires are still working mm. and that's something someone <laughs> yeah. said yes. and it took me by surprise cuz if you're a billionaire you'd expect you're relaxing somewhere, vacationing, yeah. you're okay. Sure, sure. But there's the influx, there's the change in even the value of the currency, and we've been experiencing that, the value of the dollar versus the Kenyan shilling, mm -hmm. and then other things that are influencing the economy. So some things that you've mentioned, Ibrahim, are about your short-term and your long-term goals. You have to take care of your bills. You have to be able to cover, maybe get rid of the debts, mm -hmm. get rid of a few things. So what are these things that you need to prioritize when you're thinking about management? Well, what are some things that you should prioritize so I think uh, in, when it comes to prioritizing it depends with what you are earning so depending with the amount you are earning you might you try to plan based on I'm earning this amount of money so that means I should limit my expenses based on this so that at the end of the period I'm able to save something for me to use it tomorrow to get me other more income Mm. Yeah. So lazima ufikirie long term. Hakuna sure. point yenye ni like leo niko sawa. There's yes, no yes. point where you can sure, just say sure. it's today I've paid my rent for this month. I have my food tonight. It's okay. Sure. You always have to think about long term. Sure. And what's the value of that Ibrahim? What's the value of planning for long term? Because you know especially with the younger generation what are ataka pesa ya sahi? Ninunu tu gari yangu sahi, kashamba kangu sahi ni kwa nimejanga hiyo story ishe. We don't think about retirement funds. Yes. We don't think about the life insurance and all that. But what is the value of even putting away money for 10 years and saying I'm locking this up and in 10 years I'll come back and look at it and see what I can do with that. Okay. So basically when it comes to that point, you must have done an assessment of yourself. You, you look at yourself, you feel like maybe this 30,000 can take me through this particular period. And uh, you feel like this might be my long term. My long term might be 30,000 and maybe, maybe that one can be a short term of maybe, um, maybe someone else. But depending on that period, you need to ensure that you've taken care of all your fears, all the possibilities that you might fail. If you are looking at a business and uh, you are looking at it uh, that uh, it's making a lot of losses, you are not getting more deals. Or if you are looking at maybe you are starting a business, maybe the, the young generation, maybe they are starting a business, they don't have the enough capital to, 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 to push, to pull them that long term or that the short term. They need to prioritize the first fears, if it's the capital, if it's uh, ensuring the infrastructure is okay, if it's more, more into the business development first, building inside first, then pushing yourself. So when you look at the balance between your fears and what you have, you will be able to know what, what will really matter at that moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's assessing, maybe sometimes your personal Yes. intentions where you want to be it's yes. gauging your future to some extent yes 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 but when we go to the capital because mm -hmm. <laughs> you know so many people think about opening a business yeah. and they think you need millions or you need to do investors wangapi nasiju all these other things mm -hmm. Capital, yeah. How much do you... Because, Paul, yeah. you're well versed in especially opening businesses for people and helping yeah, them yeah, through the process. Yeah, yeah. What, would you say, what would you say is the standard 
uh, maybe capital amount or where can they source capital for them to start this business before fike hapo lazima upate job kwanza ama hii do inatoka api cuz we talk about money but where is it coming from where do we start with getting the money to even invest and manage sure i believe uh, it's something very interesting and something very easy uh, when you somebody says like opening a business somebody might think i need millions but you see it's all about planning yourself as we said so what kind of business to can i open with this kind of money there are those people if if you go to the market there is somebody will tell you i never gone i have never been employed but i managed i just came to nairobi i i started maybe just hooking something small small and with time based on how much i'm earning even if i'm earning 100 if i can be able to save 10 bob from that 100 that means tomorrow i don't have to do the hooking i can now open something small and now start selling and make instead of making now 100 i move from 100 to 200 so i think it's something that is gradual there is no limit in terms of this the amount of money that you need and again when it comes to opening a business Uh, there is the legal aspect of it whereby you go to register a business and all those stuff but before you even get to get there you need to have a plan and know where what business do i need to open where is the market for this kind of business where should i open the business what what which are the resources do i need you might realize for you to open a, a kiosk you might need just 10000 somebody else just needs 5000 somebody else to open a, a different kind of business might need millions mm. so there is no specific amount of money that would say this is the the capital that i require to open a business mm. it's all about planning and like uh, setting aside or setting a plan to ensure you get where you want to be it's mm. not about how you start but how you end mm. Yeah. So it's just the race it's the yeah, journey there. Yeah. Yep. And I like what you've said it's about planning. Yeah. You have to do your research because yeah. so many people don't even know where to start. Wako hapo wako like oh my god nitaanzia wapi? What is the process? But they've not even stepped out of their comfort zone to ask the local mama mboga how much do you pay for rent in this place mm -hmm. so it's about doing your research about what you want to do ala fundi wanze and you've also mentioned something interesting about putting away a certain amount of money from what you earn and that's something that people have been sharing for the longest time but what formula do we use to to know how much money you should be putting away for my long term investments and how much should i be spending on my bills and everything else ibrahim do you have a formula for that uh, it, it's 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 just neutral you just need to look at uh, what can work right now and what will not work at the moment so when you look at uh, the capital that maybe you are trying to accumulate at the moment uh there are those people who are employed there are those people who depend on their parents there are those people who have to source it directly from from the field so once you have accumulated everything you just need to work out a balance that what is it going to work right now at times you might find that yes you want to open a business and um, as 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 uh, my colleague here has said we need to have a plan within that plan you need to have to draft a plan that first talk talks about you it talks about the business it doesn't talk about the customer the customer needs to come in because he or she needs to eat from uh, from that business so you need to ensure that you your business has health and the health is part of the finance is part of the health of your business mm -hmm. so yeah uh, when you look at that uh, as my colleague has said also that you need to um to start with that small that you have j just start with that small um of course there are those things that might come in maybe uh people would want to reward your business or there are those investors who would want to become partners into your business uh there are so many venture capitalists here in Kenya who are looking into young minds who want to 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 grow or scale so it's up to you just to start and uh, start what can work as my colleague has said and then you can move to the next step Mm. Yeah. So both of you are agreeing that it's a gradual process. Yes, sure. It's not just unamka it's an overnight success that we are omoka. Mm -hmm. It's a process that you have to get there slowly. And part of that process before we even get to the business aspect is your personal credit. The the maybe you've taken loans ujailipa as little as yamshwari. 
<laughs> as no, little no, as this, no. the, the hustler fund or things like that. Does that, even f- not filing tax returns, because mm-hmm. there are people who will get the care pin and they won't even find returns without knowing that it has an impact on their future ventures. How, what's the value of that? To, Tebu, I'm here to audience you too, because there's so many people who probably default on loan payments and all these things, and they think it won't come back to hurt them mm. in the future. Mm. But what is the value of taking care of your debts and dealing with all of that? Sure. So that's a very important aspect to look at, uh, credits. So I believe tomorrow relies on today. So if you don't plan your today well, tomorrow it will be a challenge for you. That, uh, for example, uh, I... I Right now, maybe, I'm sure you can just give you 500 pop. If you don't pay that 500 pop, tomorrow you might need from a bank uh, 1 million. So the bank will look at your credit score and will tell you, no, you have not been paying loans. But what is limiting you? Just 500 pop. So I believe for you to, to if you have a, a, like, a, you're looking forward to doing great things, you have to set things right from the start. Mm. Yeah. You have to have maybe a good record. Sure, sure. So that wataona, ah, we are making lipa. So of course they they're going to pay. Sure, sure. And now avoiding debts. How do we avoid that? Una just crazy ni ningumu sana to sustain because yeah. the economy is so high. Maybe our expenses are so high. How do we avoid getting into debts and relying kwanza on debts? Kila manzu kini ni unajua tu wacha ni chukwe mshwari, ni lipe, ni chukwe tena. Even fuliza, guys. <laughs> you know, something as simple as that. How can we avoid debts and get rid of them so that we start building our finances? Ibrahim, do you have mm. a formula for that? I think you, sh- you should just be yourself. Mm. You should not try to copy other people. You should not try to run when uh, trying to compete. Maybe uh, my colleague here maybe is ahead of me, maybe in the same business like me, and I want to be like him. Maybe he's living well, and I also want to be like him. So you'll find that most people, rather the generation that we have right now, they want to compete, rather to be similar, rather to be ahead of the others uh, in the industry. Um, so that one has really denied us the chances to, to grow. And if you really, if you are a businessman, the key is just to be patient, because whatever you have, uh, as my colleague has said, it can work. It, 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 it just needs the right formula, the plan, and then you can scale. But mm. uh, the tests, we just need to be ourselves. Let's just be organic. Let's not run um, ahead. And this is like a of an expensive taste. <laughs> Let's say I personally <laughs> have very expensive taste. I'm not going at Kempinski every mm. day. And I know my salary does not match that or it's not even close enough to sustain that for months and months on end how then can you you're living within yeah. your means sure. and test yako yeah. so, according to me i would say mm. it's a, that should be a motivation to you yeah it's like i want to be there you look at somebody yeah. i want to wear clothes like uh, what my friend is wearing so that means so I just I don't I don't I should not just focus on uh, what he has. I should ask myself, how did he get there? So that should push me now, knowing like this is how he got there. So I should sacrifice myself today. I fail to eat uh, those uh, good uh, foods. Then tomorrow I work very hard, and not working hard, I mean working smart. You mm. can work hard, <laughs> but it doesn't bear fruits. You have yeah. to work smart, uh, move with time. And then now set your goals, like I want to be there in a certain period. If you don't get there by a certain period, then you need to pinch yourself and look at what did I do wrong. Mm. So you need to change strategies. It's like a business. I believe an individual is like a business. You need to keep looking. How are my strategies? Which are my goals? And set like timelines. If I want to be tomorrow, if I, within one year, I need uh, to have certain s- something, then you should set some steps. I need to do one, two, three for me to get there. Mm-hmm. If I don't get there, then I should pinch myself and ask myself, what made me not to achieve that? Yeah. So I re-strategize and get back to the field. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So ni kama unapanga e game tunaendaje? Yes, yeah. yes. So you have to you really have to take account of everything that you need to do sure. and where you're going. Sure. It's about the end goal, yeah. but pia journey ina matter. Cuz akuna venye utaenda uanze kununua gari, mm. alafu unalipaka payments and yeah. you can't even sustain maybe it'll even strain you actually. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll be a barrier for you to get there. Mm. So you should use it like a motivation. I want to get there. So let me work smart, ensure I have all the right resources to for me to get there. I sacrifice today for tomorrow. I yeah. believe today is not important as tomorrow because mm. today you have it. So you shouldn't worry about today. You already yeah. have today. Yeah. So you should be thinking what should I eat tomorrow? Mm. How should I behave tomorrow? Where do I want to be tomorrow? So that should be whatever is pushing you day in day, day out. Even if you don't eat today, you can say today I didn't eat, but I'm still living. Yes. So that means <laughs> kesho, but if I don't eat kesho, I might die. So mm. your focus should be tomorrow. I like that advice. Yeah. I really like that because leo nikama yeah. ishapita. The day is done. Yeah, it's done. So the the future is what hasn't come yet. Yeah. And that's where we are going. So lazima uko ready for that. Sure. And now on that note, I want us to talk about investment versus liabilities. There are so many things that we take and we assume the investments and we don't really understand that their liabilities long term. The way you've said, unaweza kuwa umechukua kitu lakini ina cost. Unalipa hizi bills zote to just maintain that one thing and we don't really understand that it's a liability. So what are some of those things? Um, uh, Ibrahim, what would you say, like what example would you give of an investment versus a liability? Well, that's a very hard question. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, do you want it in just in one or two different Maybe scenarios? like a few, you can give us a few examples okay. of what okay. you think. Mm. Okay, so I'll, I'll just use the normal example. Maybe uh, Let's take maybe our Buddha Buddha guys. See? Um, you'll take a, maybe a guy who has been in Boda Boda and has his own motorcycle and then you get another person who is now a driver. So both of them they are driving but another person, uh, this is an investment. But another guy, uh, it's, it will sound as a, a liability because the income is not streaming fully to the person. So th those are the two scenarios, though they are, they are almost the same they are working in the same market. Uh, there are other examples like that, but those, those, those are the best ones that you can use. So you'll find that um, uh, this person who has his own motorcycle is doing much, much, much better uh, with his. Uh, it might be even from a loan, but he's paying it gradually. But this person who is driving um, another person, uh, another person motorcycle, uh, maybe that motorcycle is from a loan again. So the money that he's making, he has to give, he has to submit so that they, it can pay back. So you'll find that these two people, when, when they're sitting the same stage, the discussion is not the same. This person is trying to lift himself from something and this other person is lifting himself from what he, he owns. Sure. I like yeah. that example, by the way, because sure. you know, I never really thought about it like that. Because <laughs> you'd assume maybe a motorcycle is an investment because yeah. you can do business with it. But then depending on the context, in a liability or my mm -hmm. investment. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same way. It, so it's not linear. The way we say a house is an investment and a car is a liability. Mm -hmm. It's not that linear anymore. Because mm -hmm. you can make the car a business. Sure. And sure. then it makes you money. Sure. Actually, uh, if I was asked, I would uh, say it's about like uh, the purpose yeah. of mm -hmm. the product. So anything can be a liability. Anything can be uh, an asset. Oh. So it's about you, what's the purpose for this? Somebody can buy a car, it can be a liability. Okay. Somebody else can buy the same car and it's an asset to him. So it's about the purpose of the product and the, how you do, what you do with it. Mm -hmm. Like how do I use it? Is, it? is it increasing the revenues that I'm earning or is it adding any value to, my, to, my, to myself? Because an asset is something that's supposed to add value. Mm. So if it's draining you, that means you are either using it wrongly, it can be helpful to you, but you're using it wrongly. Mm. Or you, 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 used all your, you took it without a plan. Yeah. You just, uh, so somebody has bought a car, let me buy a car. Or somebody has just built a home, let me build a home. Mm. So you have to look at your plan and the purpose for the product and how you intend to use it. Um, yeah. uh, that's, maybe, maybe, that's good. Maybe to support him also. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just use a case study of the COVID time. Well, there are so many SMEs which came up 
Um, yeah. You'll find that almost 90% of them are not there right now. Because um, I have started my business. Uh, it's working online. I'm selling shoes. It's working. Another person feels like he, he or she can start the same business. It doesn't work. So at times we start businesses or we try to chase things um, contrary to what we can do our test, our plan, and everything. So even in business, it can be a liability, you as a manager, or it can be an investment for you. Mm. Yes. So it's about how you use it, yes. what value it adds back to yes. you as a person. Yes. And then, Venyam Nasema, it's very, there's no journey that's very similar. Mm -hmm. Zico different. Everyone has something different. So you have to figure out what's your journey, where do you want to go, what's your purpose even, what are you passionate about, so that you can make the right choices. And I think that's very important because you know, this is one thing that always comes to mind every time you go down and on out crisps. I'm not throwing shade on anyone, but I wonder, is there nothing else that can be sold aside from crisps? Because I know so many other snacks that, <laughs> that are the, I personally don't like crisps. Mm -hmm. If I saw cake, then maybe I'd buy if I saw cookies or something but people are probably taking on the idea that they think ah this is there it's working it's available and I can do it very affordably but they don't really think about their passion they don't think about the market and that's what can sometimes cause something to be a liability and not an investment yeah. and now when we talk about as we wind up on uh, the, the personal aspect I want us to get into the business once we come back from the, our break mm -hmm. what are some ways that we can put away money because there are people who struggle with saving money especially if it's somewhere that they can access if it's on their phone in their accounts what are some places that we can put away money and forget about it and even in a two-party interest because you know the thing about banks it doesn't even give you an interest it's the same exact amount where can we put away money do it grow it to say dear ibrahim what are some suggestions that you can give mm, i think the, the best one which i can go but uh, I think that one will be the best one for my friend here. I've heard about many markets. I think um, I'm a member. I've just joined, uh, I think, a few months ago with my colleague uh, here. So many markets and uh, also there are these bonds from the government. Security um, bonds. Yeah, the security bonds. I think there are so many places where you can invest even when you have even 100 shillings. So um, it's just a matter of identifying you yourself. Where do you want to be? Like my colleague has said, where is, what is the end goal? And if money markets can help you to be that way, I think you can try them. And if, even the banks, they can give you opportunities to invest as well. I think that there's that matter of fixed accounts, the, the, the other, the software. So you can look into that. And when you look at maybe when you're discussing to, to, with an organic person who doesn't understand this other infrastructure, I think we can discuss about the things like um, maybe investing in a business that is working at the moment. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. If, I, if I was to add to that, I would say uh, like uh, there are so many options for you to invest in, but you also need to look at uh, like what is it a long term investment? Is it a short term investment? Mm -hmm. If it's a short term investment, of course, the interest are a bit lower compared to the long term investment, but you can access your cash like uh, as like just as up. Mm -hmm. But for the long term, for you to access the cash is not that easy. So you for, it's like for going, you just keep the money and wait it. But then you'll get a, a higher interest compared to somebody who just uh, looked at a short term investment. Mm -hmm. But now it also depends why, why am I saving this money? Because yeah. if I'm saving the money for me to, to get it back after three months, then I don't have to go for options that require 10 years yeah. of investment mm. so it's a it's about looking at what is my intention for me saving because saving is not the end purpose nobody can be rich yeah. by just saving yeah. so it's about saving then you invest it somewhere else that can now bring you more money yeah yeah I like that because it depends on what your goal is yes. and there's so many options based on what you're saying. Yeah. So I want us to come back with that. And uh, meanwhile, let me read some of the comments you guys have shared on our social media platforms. The question we asked was, do you think it's important to invest? Do you think there's a value of even investing and putting away money? And this is from Facebook, I believe. We have Baby Asli says, watching from Macha. Thank you so much. Rasugu Kaleb says, a business planner. Um, 
Um, uh, okay, that's that's cool. It says the question is, what do you consider before investing? And uh, Brasugu has said a business plan. Timothy Gaira says, good evening. I'm tuning in from Kitale. Thank you so much. And uh, Don Dada is also in. Thank you. Linus Alasi Isabo is tuned in as well. And Alex also is tuned in from Moya. And uh, Mustafa Hajibina, Hajibina is uh, tuned in from uh, Mer Embu. Frontline one locked in. And I really want to hear some more of your comments. I want to hear what your opinions are about this conversation. What do you consider before you invest? Do you even think investing is important? I'm on a Sahi, Ukule, Ubalize, your story. Get online on our platforms at Y254. Share some of your comments, some of your experiences, some thoughts that you have. We're having a very interesting conversation on uh, financial management and investment. I want us to come back after this short break and talk more about some options of where you can save and then eventually invest. And for your businesses as well. If you want to start a business, what do you need? How can you set it up? And how can you make it successful? So stay tuned to Y254 TV. We're taking a very short break. This is Power Talk, and I am Cheryl Blessing.